Good morning fellow option traders this is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Monday October 21st 2013. Market affecting announcements on tap for today are exist existing home sales and the EIA petroleum status report and then in addition we have um, some treasury auctions going on later in the morning shouldn't really affect anything though um, existing home sales uh, probably not expecting any sort of big surprise there um, I don't think anything's gonna go really in a huge uh, positive direction there so expected no surprises from that all right um, we can go back now and take a look at the futures. I'm a little uh, foggy this morning myself. Um, over in Asia, we have a pretty um, bullish day over there. Uh, looking pretty solid. And in Europe, uh, looking slightly bearish. Well, that's sort of strange, but it's not unusual to see these two in conflict. Okay, um, looking at our futures now. Let's jump over here. And we are looking at a slightly positive open. And for gold, we're above 1300 that's a good sign at least for our one and only position that we have right now and oil is right at a hundred bucks and I was happy to only be paying uh, I think the last fill up I did on my trip over the weekend was three dollars and twenty seven cents that was uh, a price that made me happy but you know it's that it's a new normal the price keeps going up and then when it pulls back you're happy so I guess I'm being trained well by the market okay let's get on with our current position well, all we have right now is the gold and all we have is the hundred shares so what should we do with that well let's take a little peek here and see if we might want to um, sell a November all right so for November let me think here okay so our position we were dealing with uh, 134 um, call in the past and that's what we've been selling uh, I need to analyze and I'll do it on a spreadsheet and give it to you tomorrow but I will be analyzing maybe like from the 130 to the 134 call to look at uh, what it's going to look like if we should happen to get called out so we're at 126.85 right now oops and let's take a peek at a chart okay we had a very nice day last Thursday we actually almost got back up to our cost basis so our cost basis right now is 128.67 so if we did a 130 call as an example we would get a dollar thirty nine that would reduce our cost basis by approximately a dollar thirty nine not including transaction fees which would bring us down to one twenty seven thirty let's say one twenty seven thirty so if we get called out at one thirty then we would make uh, you know like two dollars and seventy cents so <clears throat> that's the calculation that I have to do. Of course, it would look a lot better if we got called out at 134, but are we going to hit 134? 134 is you know, right up around here, and 
definitely that's a possibility. So if we want to stick with it, collect our 55 bucks for the month, minus transaction costs, or actually we would be collecting $53 based on the current price. Um, and that's not too bad if we're pulling that in on 100 shares on you know, $2,000 in risk, I guess you might say, or $3,000. Um, so that's, you know, that's not a bad return, I guess you might say. So I'm going to slice this and dice this on a spreadsheet, and we'll take a look at it tomorrow and see what the guru came up with and what he might be doing. No big hurry on this. Um, we definitely got this week. It would have been better if I would have done it last week. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. I only lose, you know, a dollar or two by waiting over the weekend. We want to do the right thing. We we'll probably will stick with this 134, but we'll see how the numbers work out. All right, and that is our only current position, so we can just jump right over to the A plus list and get moving here. All right, so peek at Apple. Been kind of out of it for a couple of days. I know the market pretty much is, was moving up, so that's a good thing. Uh, Apple, we had our position expire successfully, 100% success on that particular one, and we're still waiting for, um, we're still waiting to hit this target here. So we're going to slide this over. Um, we could do a chase on this, you know, um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stay extremely conservative because at these new highs it's really making me pretty nervous. So I am going to be ultra conservative. Okay, so Amazon had a very nice day Friday. Wow. That's a big old fat green candle. Uh, the Kindle Fire HDX. I have a Kindle Fire and I really like it. Um, it's not, you know, it's not uh, incredibly robust or anything like that, but for the price and being an Amazon Prime member and being able to watch movies on it, and it's got an incredible uh, screen on it, so I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, that was a good move for Amazon, I think. It took a little while to take hold, but um, I'm definitely an Amazon junkie, so um, just thought I'd let you know that if you haven't realized it already. So it had a good day. We don't have, you know, I was looking for a bearish trade here, and this is not going to work out that way. So now we're watching for something down here on Amazon. We have a new nice solid looking uptrend and we have earnings this week. So what is going to happen with them? Well, um, just like I said, I'm staying away from it. Uh, Baidu, they have earnings next week it looks like. They had a very nice day on Friday. Um, not valid anymore. And this one we can activate and slide it down over here because we are in a very nice strong uptrend. Um, we still could get in on this just based on what happened here. So you're waiting for a hookup. Alright, so um, we have earnings that's next week. 1029. Uh, Halloween, 10:30s eh, Halloween. I'm not sure which day exactly is Halloween, and yet I got pumpkins on my um, video thing. Um, yeah, let's set an alert here. I'm pretty sure we're going to probably this uh, this one here is going to uh, definitely alert. I would say. But we'll put one on it and see what happens. So I didn't put an alert on Amazon because of earnings. So what's going on with Celgene? All right, we're 
still in a very positive uptrend. We're going to put a target down here. We have earnings this week. Should be interesting. CF. Ouch on this. I didn't have to really do anything and it would have been just fine. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. Um, so now we are looking for a new target over here approximately and maybe we can squeeze something in before earnings if it comes back down and gives us an entry Chipotle wow another great day for them another great earnings let's see here earnings 277 estimate 266 actual must be revenue forecast that's all I can say uh, they're going to raise their prices. I don't know why uh, so many people jumped in on this on Friday. There's nothing like really flashy here at all. Ooh, revenue was very high. Above uh, expected. Chipotle guides low. Wow, <laughs> I don't get it. Somebody explain that to me. Just please, it must be all those people that go to Chipotle and eat all the time that jumped in on the stock here for some reason. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens this week. I want to wait when you get a big gap like this. You got to just wait and see what's going to happen. So I'm not touching that one. Uh, gold, mentioned that one. Let's just go to Google right now. Wow, Google, how did they do? Wow, Google is hot. Now, the thing that might happen is you might get a nice continuation here, gapped up at the open and continue to climb. It's above a $1,000. Um, trying to keep up with Priceline I guess you might say so if you look at their earnings 1158 1065 956 1074 Google's doing well so what typically happens you know you might get this one was a gap up and it just continued to fire so this could be a possible uh, at the money one to one risk reward trade and if you were to do that you would do it on the weeklies here we're at let's look at 10 10 well it's already up already today so if we were to look at maybe like a Uh, let's see, 10.15, 10.24, we look at a 10.20, and you're at 2.95, which is about, you know, $500 risk, 2.95, that's about one-to-one -one risk reward. So your, your risk here would be uh, $205, and you, because you subtract this from the, 500 or from the five dollar spread here and your reward would be 295 and it probably would work out so I'm going to make a note of that so all you're looking for is for this to continue for the remainder of this week and continue to inch up and I would say that it definitely is going to do that so let's put an alert on there And that would that would be a trade where we go one to one, uh, slight deviation from our normal strategy. This is um, it's not really a high risk thing either. You know, if I you're only risking a couple hundred bucks here, so that's not a big deal. All right, uh, Goldman Sachs. 
Uh, let's see, what was their earnings? 247, 288 actual. Yeah, the market's not real happy with Goldman at the current time. So this um, may work out as a, we're going to activate this and we're going to want to uh, see a hit on a target here. And this may be it. I just want to watch this for one more day and see what happens. It's struggling to maintain its value here. Uh, LinkedIn. All right, LinkedIn uh, doing very well. Um, our iron condor would have worked out swimmingly if I hadn't panicked on this move here. Um, it still worked out okay, but we have earnings coming up, so I am taking a total pass on this. And uh, just wait to see what happens with earnings. I might do something possibly Thursday with an overnighter um, into Friday. We'll just see what happens there. MasterCard. Uh, waiting for it to come down and give us an entry. Um, we're running out of time. Running out of time. It may not give us an entry before earnings. Netflix. Um, still waiting to hit our target at earnings today. Is that today? No. It's... It is today, after the market. So we'll see what happens with Netflix. Netflix on tap for today. Priceline, we have our simulated put calendar, which isn't doing real good based on this move here. We can take a look at that on the risk profile. We haven't had much movement here in the implied volatility and we're, um, our peak here is below 2,000 and our white line is not moving up. As a matter of fact, we're down a tad. We're down to 14.99. I think we're at like, what, $40 or so last week. We'll just keep an eye on this and see what happens. It's just for fun, that's all. Do we see anything happening here? Well, we have a target that we need to set up here and it may be inching down for it and we will have time before earnings here because earnings is pretty far out on Priceline. Uh, SPX last week's trade worked out just in a summary for last week uh, was not a good week lost about 500 bucks total for the week I was able to you know get out of the trades that I needed to get out and stayed in the trades that were looking promising and this was one that looked promising so the net for last week was about negative 500 whereas we were you know pounding away at almost 500 bucks a week prior to that on the good side so hey yeah, take some losses here and there that's the name of the game so on this, we would be looking for a move up here, and I would jump in, I think with a 1720, I looked at it, but let's take a look. Huh. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. We would be looking at SPX, regular old SPX for this week, and a... 20 delta puts us at 1720 and that is right here so that's what we would be looking for for this week we have an up arrow we're looking up on practically everything and that's when it turns around on you <laughs> so uh, we'll, but we'll be looking for that 1720 today Tesla um, it's floundering here I guess you might say 
trying to find its direction, but it looks like it's setting itself up for an entry for us. We do have time for, uh, we have two more weeks before earnings, so we have a time to get in on Tesla. So maybe we'll get a hook here. I'm going to put an alert on Tesla, not necessarily to get in on it, but to see whether it moves up today or not. And then last but not least is Visa. Uh, looking for it to hit our target. It's not cooperating. We got time this week for a trade if it comes down and gives us an opening, but I probably won't have enough time, especially if the market is uh, bullish overall. So that's it for today. We have Baidu and Tesla for bull puts, and then we have Google for a one-to-one -one, uh, risk-reward trade, and SPX at 17.20. And that's it for today. Thanks a heap for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.